Hello, welcome to Beginner's Photoshop, aka Photoshop for Dummies. This is Lesson 6, Layer Basics. Make sure to visit our website, photoshophelps.blogspot.com, for a lot of great resources and tutorials to help with all of your photoshopping needs. Alright, so if you're new to Photoshop, you may be unfamiliar with the concept of layers. The way I like to think of layers is like layers of clothing. You've got your underwear layer, then maybe your regular clothes, then a jacket on top of that, and then maybe a hat. Um, so basically you've got one layer of clothing on top of another, on top of another, on top of another. And this is the way layers work in Photoshop. You've got one image on top of another, on top of another. And you can edit each image, each layer of images without affecting the other layers. The easiest way for me to teach you about layers is just to go ahead and show you. So we're going to come over here to our new document. When you open up the new document, you've just got one layer, and your layers are shown over here on the right-hand side. And your original layer is the background layer. Now your background layer is locked, which means when you've got other layers, you can't move your background layer. You can do things to it, but you can't move it on top of other things. The way to unlock the background layer is you can come over here and double click and rename it something. And that takes the little lock icon away. Alright, so we've got our background layer. What we want to do is come up here to layer, new, layer. And let's just keep it at name layer one, the default name. This layer comes on top of the background layer. Now, because I've unlocked the background layer, I can click and drag that layer underneath or I can click and drag it back on top. So what we'll do, just to show you, is we'll come over here and we'll make a circular selection and make it reflect an order. It's already selected, so I'm going to hit Control C, which is copy, and I'm going to hit Control D, which is deselect. And I'm going to take and move this over here. Now, if I hit Control D, it's going to paste what I just copied. Anytime you paste something, it becomes a new layer. And as you can see, I'm moving this layer that it got by default named layer 2, and it's under layer 1. I can move it, and it's not affecting layer 1 or the background layer. I'm going to hit Control T, and I'm going to transform it here. Okay. And just to show you, I'm going to come up here to Image, Adjustment. And I'm going to desaturate it, which is going to make it black and white. Just so I can show you the color contrast. Now I can click and drag this layer, and right now, because over here layer 2 is under layer 1, it's going to be behind the layer 1 image. If I wanted it to be on top of the layer 1 image, I would take layer 2, click it, and drag it above layer 1. And as you can see, it's now on top. So there's a few things you can do with layers. Um, there's a little eye icon over here, and on layer 2, let's just say I want to take it away for just a minute so I can do something. I would click the little eye icon and it would disappear. And now I can see the rest of my image um, underneath that icon. Or I can click it and it disappears. Another thing you can do is come up here to opacity and click this little arrow. And right now it's at 100% opacity, which means it, you can see the entire image. If you drag the little slider down, you can see it become see through the further down that you drag it. And it will do this to the entire life layer. So whatever's on this layer, it's going to do that. So if I were to take the paintbrush tool and make some scribbles on this layer, the same layer as this orb, and then take the opacity down, it would do it to whatever is on that layer, both the orb and the scribbles. But I'm going to take the scribbles away. Okay. Another thing you can do is say we don't want layer 2. We don't want this orb anymore. We've decided to image this side of the sky. We can click it and drag it down to this little trash can icon here, and it will delete the layer. Say we want um, another, you know, or the exact same. We can come up here to layer 1, right click, and click duplicate layer. And now it comes up, and the default name is layer 1 copy. And as you can see, that's it. So, just to show you, um, if you double click over here to the right of the word, this layer style box will come up. We'll move it over here so you can see. And right now we're going to be editing the layer with this orb on it. We can give it a crop shadow or an inner shadow. 
You can give it an outer grill. We'll come over here and put the outer grill box and you can mess with the size and the spread of it and we'll make it a different color so that we can spread it. Hard to see. <laughs> Just click it down. I'm going to come down here and make the background layer black just so I can show you some of the layer effects better. Okay, now you can see the glow. I'm going to double click it down and come over here and bring up the layer style box. If I were to mess with the outer glow, I can mess with the size and make it bigger or smaller. I can mess with the spread, which is um, how thick it is. I can change the color. Maybe I want the glow to be kind of pink. Um, we could give it an inner glow and do the same thing, but it would be on the inside. We can mess with the size and the choke. Or maybe I don't want an inner glow. We can come over here to color overlay. Maybe we want our orb to be blue instead of red. And we can mess with the opacity of that color overlay and kind of make it, you know, purple because blue and red make purple. There's a lot of different things you can do just by um, messing with the different layer styles. So we'll click OK now. We've got a couple of things. And it shows you the different effects that we've added to it. You can click this little arrow and compact it. Another thing you can do is link the layers. So right now, layer one and the layer one copy are separate. If, I, if I'm on layer one copy, I can move this orb and it doesn't affect the other orb. If I link the two together by clicking this little box, a little chain will come up. And now if I move on things together, since the two layers are linked together. And you can link as many layers as you want to. You know which layer you're on because it will be highlighted blue and also there's a little paint brush in that little box. Um, you can make really complicated images using these layers. Just for example, here's a desktop I made a couple of days ago. And you can see there's trees behind a snowman and behind that there's sky. And we do this using layers. And just to show you, I'll take away one layer at a time to show you how we do this. Uh, the top layer is the snowman, so we take that away and move on. Then the ornament, then the snow that was on the big Christmas tree there, and then we take away the coloring to the tree trunk and the big Christmas tree itself, and we're left with a pretty plain desktop. We take away the snow that was on top of those trees, then the trees, and we're left with the ground and the sky, and then we take away the ground there and the sky, and we're left with our original transparent document. So we'll go ahead and put those all back. And again, um, for whatever reason, if I want this ornament to be behind the tree, I could drag them. We can drag that layer down. Or if I'm just going to go ahead and move that back up. Or if I wanted to move the ornament, I can click and drag like that. Another nice thing about layers is, again, you can edit each layer without affecting the other layers. So, Wrong ornaments layer. Maybe I just want to move this ornament. I can select that ornament from this layer, and I'm not affecting the tree itself. Or if I want to delete that ornament, then it's gone, and I didn't delete a little past the tree, as if you would if you were using something like Microsoft Paint. It would it would delete um, everything, you know, that you had selected. So we'll go ahead and put that ornament back. Another thing you can do is let's just go ahead and link a few of these layers together. You can come up here and go to Layer, Merge Link. Now it has merged all those layers that I have linked together into one layer. So those were the layers that I have merged. You can see. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Alt Control V, which is on deal, and unmerge those layers. Unmerge. Another thing you can do is go to Layer, Flatten Image. And that went ahead and just turned all the layers into a background layer. It merged them all. So if I was to move, no, I couldn't move it because the layer blocked. So we'll go ahead and undo that again. As you can see, there's a lot of different things that you can do with layers. This was just the basic. There's quite a few other things you can do with layers. And you're just going to have to screw around with it and figure it out. But those are the basics just to get you going. Again, this was Beginner's Photoshop, Lesson 6, Layer Basics. Have fun Photoshop.